Hey man, what's up, man? This your boy, man. Trey B the music. Producer Engineer 24 DMG, man. We live with Pop Up TV, man. He on the check the stool. Yo, yo, we live with Trey B the music, man. What first got you into the music game, man? Man, shit, man. Well, really, I ain't gonna lie, man. It started, like, way back in the game in church, you know what I'm saying? I started playing drums. After that, I started learning keys, you know what I'm saying? Learn how to use my voice and shit, you know what I'm saying? And it ended up me being a producer, you know what I'm saying? Engineer. I always been in the music, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, what's your uh, favorite go-to instrument? Like, you play the keys? You do the keys? You play the keys, you play the drums. What's your go-to instrument? Well, I mean, go-to gonna always be drums, because that's my first love. You know what I'm saying? That's the heartbeat of everything. No, ain't no beat nothing without drums, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I still love the keys, because being a drummer, that's what introduced me, you know what I'm saying? I want to know something different, you know what I'm saying? And you can't put the drums together without the keys, so, you know. Man, man. Like versatile, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really have, like, I, you can't place me with no style, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, the first music I ever learned was gospel, you know what I'm saying? Then I'm a rap head, hip hop head, then I'm a singer, so, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with R&B and... So like Zydeco, like I fuck with our brand. So like I tell the one, somebody when you come here, I'm probably the most versatile producer you gonna run into because you can't miss me with shit. You know what I'm saying? If you want a Zydeco blues, country rock, hip hop, uh, uh, polka beat in one, you know what I'm saying? I can make that shit happen. I can put it together. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, well, I shit, man. Like shit, I done work with Fatline, man. I done work with Sierra. I done work with Jody Breeze. Uh, 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 Ace Hood. Uh, you know, but but you know what though? Like I ain't gonna really like like really get into like them them famous niggas. Like they cool, but fuck them niggas. You know what I'm saying? To an extent, cause like my home team, I'm I'm gonna mention them. You know what I'm saying? Like who you hear in the background? That's that's uh, La Finito. You know what I'm saying? Like he got a song called Yes Sir that I produced like that. Big gets some traction, man. You gotta look out for that boy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Big Foolin' man, that boy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, free Big Foolin' man. You know what I'm saying? He'll be home soon enough. You know what I'm saying? But like that's another one of the squad. You know what I'm saying? My nigga Landlord, 24 Hour Grind. My nigga Big Tugger. You know what I'm saying? Drama. You know what I'm saying? My young nigga Spotlight, you know what I'm saying? Like, like we got a squad, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. My little sis, you know what I'm saying? Ebony Queen, you know what I'm saying? My real little sis, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, we, it, it's, it's a lot of us, man. We, we come in all kind of different ways, you know what I'm saying? So, when y'all get into the lab, man, uh, what's the creative process like? Do y'all, do y'all, do y'all already have a track made? Or do you make a track according to what they put up? Well, see, that's the beautiful thing about the studio, you know what I'm saying? Like, it don't, it's a vibe, you know what I'm saying? You know, sometimes, uh, like, my people come in here and they'll hear like a beat out and I already made, you know what I'm saying? And they'll be like, that's hard, let me jump on it, you know what I'm saying? It go like that sometimes. Well, sometimes I just be sitting up making some shit, you know what I'm saying? And shit, before you know it, they in the booth. I ain't even, especially my nigga Finito, you know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't even told this nigga. It's his, but if he his, he wanted it, his. For real. Yeah, it's a vibe every time. It's a vibe. Uh, because you can't miss me with shit. Like, whatever my people come in here, they be like, hey, I'm in the mood for this, you know what I'm saying? I want some some gunner soft shit, some, some R&B shit. I want some, some hard TLE Cinco shit. Whatever you want. It, it can get done in this motherfucker. It's going to be some heat. Shit, I ain't got all these keyboards and shit for decoration. We go to Man, uh, I have. I have. Uh, but like I say, I'm going to keep it Houston. You know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to shout out some of the niggas that, that like, looked out for me at one point coming come time. You know what I'm saying? My nigga Big Jugger, man. Big Jugger, man. Fuck with you, big jugger, man. My nigga Cartier, man, you know what I'm saying? Did something pivotal for me along the way, man. My nigga Big Cuz, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the producers next time, man. For real, man, because cause we some of the hardest producers in the motherfucking world, you feel me? 
a lot of bangers come out of Houston and people don't even know where the producers, you know what I'm saying, coming from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. For sure, like, but that's what I'm saying. Like, shout out B King for sure, but you got a lot of underground producers that niggas don't even know about, bro. They don't, they don't even, you don't even know that this nigga that you pay no attention to sitting here, niggas, the nigga responsible for your favorite song. You feel me? This nigga then, then made a hit somewhere in, in his back room in Sunnyside somewhere. You feel me? Like, so shout out to all the Ace Time producers, man. Number one, two things, two things in one. Number one, don't be too thirsty, don't be too humble. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're too thirsty, bro, you'll take anything, you'll jump on any, any bandwagon, you know what I'm saying? And people gonna treat you how you treat yourself. If you present yourself as a bullshit nigga or, or a nothing ass artist, that's how people gonna perceive you. But also, you gotta keep it humble, you know what I'm saying? Cause don't nobody owe you nothing, you know what I'm saying? Don't nobody know you, you know what I'm saying? So like, be humble, don't walk in, you can be the hard, some of the hardest rappers out here don't make it. You feel me? You gotta be humble, man, you know what I'm saying? You gotta keep your, keep your head. And, and number one, keep on pushing, bro, and stack your bread. Cause this ain't no cheap game. This ain't no cheap industry, man. If you think you gon' jump in this motherfucking game uh, with YouTube beats, you know what I'm saying? Listen, listen to me. If you think you gon' jump in this industry with YouTube beats, if you think you gon' uh, jump in this industry uh, with, with, a, with a bullshit sound quality, you know what I'm saying, about your music, you know what I'm saying? If you think you're gonna jump into this industry without dedicating your motherfucking self to it, like you still gonna need to work a jail or a hustle, do whatever you do, because you gonna need some bread, but, but this shit is a job, man. This shit ain't no get rich quick scheme. This shit ain't no motherfucking uh, do it with my pilots to smoke weed in the studio, you feel me? Like this and shit, like, that's why I fuck with my nigga Nito like he did, because he got his butt, that motherfucker in the clubs every night buying these DJs drinks, man. Uh, making making connections with these people, getting his shit played on a slow night, you feel me? So he, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man, it's, it's, you gotta grind, bro. It's not no overnight shit. And listen, man, fuck them YouTube beats. I'm not saying this from just a producer, but fuck them YouTube beats, bro. They gonna take your motherfucking tape down. You ain't gonna be able to do nothing with what would you say you think gonna be the hottest one that's gonna catch traction? Man, you know, like, I'm, I, I will say this. Right now, mm -hmm. like, my nigga Finito, you know what I'm saying? Uh, landlord shit, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Landlord 24 Hour Grind. Um, Finesse Rico shit. Shout out 24 DMG, 24 Hour Grind, you know what I'm saying? Like, like them niggas really, uh, Rico just dropped a song with Fast Lane uh, video. Go check that out. Uh, Finesse Rico. Uh, them niggas, them three niggas kind of leading the squad right now as far as pushing, you know what I'm saying? But but I can't say which one gonna catch traction because, like I say, my nigga Tug hard, my nigga Drama hard, my little sis, Ebony Queen, hard, you know what I'm saying? Like, my nigga Spotlight hard, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, shit. The squad hard, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta, you gotta understand, if I record niggas for a living, I hear music and niggas all day. So, of course, I ain't gonna rock with nothing but the hard, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Well, I mean, like I say, we used to be out the trunk, man. Like, like, I know I might not look that motherfucking old, you feel me? But like, don't say no funny shit. But like. Yeah, a nigga is older, fool. So I remember, like, before we had all this Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, fucking TikTok, fucking all this shit. Like, niggas used to burn CDs, you know what I'm saying, to be in the hood and, and pass them out, like, like my man said, bro. But now the internet is giving people a platform where everybody can pretty much be their own record label. Everybody can 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 touch producers all over the, the world, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you want a beat from the same nigga that made fucking Migos beats and shit, it's possible. You know what I'm saying? But but also, 
it's also made some people kind of lazy because sometimes when you when you give too too much of a good thing to people, they get lazy and forget the groundwork. You know what I'm saying? So so it's to make people lazy thinking that you just because you get a video and drop that bitch that the world's supposed to change. You know what I'm saying? You got to get out here grind face to face, face card, man. Be in people's faces, introduce yourself, get get build relationships. You know what I'm saying? But like. Again, I, I, I can't say this enough, man. These motherfucking YouTube beats, bro, is... You want to be like a YouTube beat? Bring that shit to me. Send that shit to me. I'll make that bitch exactly like the fuck it is and harder. Then you ain't got to worry about that shit. You know what I'm saying? But stop raping these niggas' beats, man. These niggas ain't giving you nothing free. These niggas work their whole life learning to do this shit. These niggas is not doing nothing for free. Because it's safe free. Trust me, shit ain't free. Damn. I would have to say like like the best advice I've probably been given and and I've been giving it to it by by two or three people that I respect. You know what I'm saying? Never stop learning. You know what I'm saying? Never stop. Never. I always keep your ears and your eyes open and your brain open. Like as long as I've been doing this shit, as 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 uh, at least people say I'm a good producer, good engineer. I like to think that I am. You know what I'm saying? I walk in somebody's studio that's 15 years younger than me and sit up under them and watch what they doing like a student. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention. I still go on YouTube and watch videos on, on, on you know what I'm saying, how to get better at this different tip. So my thing is never stop learning. You know what I'm saying? Continue to educate yourself. You know what I'm saying? And always learn the business side of this shit first. Them the three biggest pieces of advice that has helped me along my way. You know what I'm saying? Man, listen, um, I'm a, I'm a, I, I can't, I can't really, listen, I can see you in that direction, but like, that's one thing I ain't gonna do, I ain't gonna never cap and sit up and give information, expert information about something that I'm not an expert on, you know what I'm saying, and that shit like, I know what's going on, I see the movement, what's going on is becoming more and more of a trend, more of a thing, but like, this what I'm locked in on, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I produce, you know what I'm saying? I make cover off of people, I, but mostly I produce an engineer. That's what I'm locked in on. All that other shit, talk to your manager. Oh, you feel me? Like, I ain't no expert on that. Who I haven't worked with is like I haven't worked with Ken the man yet, you know what I'm saying? I know I could do some I, I know I could do some real hard shit with her. Um like uh, oh I will say this update, you know what I'm saying? Uh the, the famous super group, R and B group. Platinum selling group H Town, you know what I'm saying? They still reporting, they they still recording, they still getting paid, performing all over the world. You know what I'm saying? It's always been my dream to work with them, and they will be here next week in the studio with me. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my nigga Gi, you know what I'm saying? Like for, for making it happen. You feel me? Like so, um, man, it's a lot of young, hard motherfuckers out here, man. Like, I, let me let me put it this way. It's too many for me to name without feeling like I'm shitting on other people. Because I'm going to leave some people out that I want to name. So, so I'm going to just say, man, like, shout out to all H Town artists, man. You know what I'm saying? I see you when we get there. Man, let them know where they can reach you at one more time. Where are we going right now? Uh, listen, man. Uh, you can Google 24 DMG Recording Studio. And that'll be all the information as far as getting in touch with me, as far as getting to the studio. Um, you can go on my Instagram. It's Trey B the Music. It's Trey T R E Y dot B dot the Music. Spell like Damu. D A M U Z I K. That's that's my personal Instagram page. Or you can go to 24 DMG Recording Studio. That's a separate Instagram page. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Facebook Trey B the Music. Snapchat Trey B the Music. TikTok Trey B the Music. Cash App Trey B the Music. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like. 
If you Google Trey B the music right now, you'll find anything you need to know. You feel me? And original beats going for the low. I can remake anything anytime. Fuck with me. Uh, uh, wait, repeat that one more time for me, man. Repeat that one more time for me. Man, well, I, I speak on the Houston issue. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I spent a lot of time back and forth between Houston and Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of my major production accomplishments in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 and I can, Atlanta has a lot of Houston swag going on. You can fit four Atlantas into Houston, Texas. That's how small it is. You know what I'm saying? But I can tell you the difference why Atlanta is where they are musically and Houston is where they are musically. You know what I'm saying? Everything these Atlanta niggas do, they support each other. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck if they beef it. I don't give a fuck if they don't like each other. When they throw a show in Atlanta, it's all Atlanta niggas. That's it. You know what I'm saying? You listen to their radio station, it's Atlanta niggas. You listen to what the people listening to them around them. It's Atlanta niggas. You know what I'm saying? Atlanta artists work together. They do features with each other. They send their artists towards each other. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, if they got beats, it's on some personal other shit. They don't let that get in the way of their business. You know what I'm saying? And that's how them niggas went to the top of the charts because they stuck together, man. Listen, so as far as the Houston industry, man, I know people have heard this before, man. But listen, man. People jealous of each other, man. People snaking each other, man. People crabs in a barrel, man. People not want to let too scared another motherfucker gonna pop before them, man. Listen, bro, in Houston, if we could just stick together, man, if we could just keep a fucking movement, man, all the fucking talent here, man. Producers, engineers, actors, motherfucking influencers, models, rappers, singers, everything is here. This, 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 this where all the big niggas come to. You feel me? But the only thing that where we're not on the map musically where we're supposed to be is because it's a lack of unity, man. This nigga don't know this nigga. This nigga don't know this nigga. This nigga don't fuck with this nigga. This nigga don't care what this nigga doing. This nigga don't want to see what you doing. We can't make it as a city like that, man. And I'm telling you, for you up and coming artists, when the city pops, that's when you pop. You know what I'm saying? You got a way better chance of popping when your city pops. You know what I'm saying? We'll squander the motherfuckers, man. And let's change that shit this generation, man. My generation of rappers. You know what I'm saying? The 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 zeros, the kikis, the you know, the 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 the, the uh, slim thug. You know the, my generation of uh, Houston rappers, bro. Them niggas did a lot of beefing with each other. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas could have came together on some shit and been had this city out the fucking mud. You feel me? But they get it together now, not an old later in life. If they'd have done that shit when they was younger, bro, you know what I'm saying? So, like, this generation, man, let's not make that same mistake. You feel me? Let's not make that same mistake that, that the older niggas have made and learned from already. You know what I'm saying? Now we trying to tell y'all that shit so y'all don't make the same mistake. You know what I'm saying? That's it. We're gonna close it out with this, man. What's next for Trey B the Music? Hey, uh, what's next for Trey B the Music is this next recording session I got sitting next to me. You know what I'm saying? That's what's next for Trey B the Music. You know what I'm saying? Because I take that shit day by day, minute by minute, session by session, beat by beat. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and, the sky's, on, the sky's the limit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got niggas from my hood that remember when I started doing this shit and some of the sh accomplishments I done made, some of the people I produced for, been around, met, know me, I know, got access to, you know what I'm saying? Like, God has been good. So I, I can't never say what's next for Trey B. The Music because God has already proven the sky's the limit for me. I ain't no telling. So it's session to session. You know what I'm saying? If you book a session, then you next for Trey B. The Music. You know what I'm saying? Let's pick it up one more time before we close out.
How did he get in touch with you? Hey, listen. Trey Beat T R E Y B D A M U Z I K. I promise you, if you Google that motherfucker, you'll find everything you need. Everything you trying to find on me, you'll find my beats. You'll find uh, some of the things I've done, some of the people I work with. You know what I'm saying? It'll take you to my Instagram. But everything, Trey Beat Music. You know what I'm saying? Phone number is public information on Google, on Instagram. Whatever, get at me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't Hollywood like that. Hit my line.